in today's lecture we will understand that an array is given that is of 0 1 and 2 only that is 0 1 and 2 only and we need to sort this array in ascending order but the main problem is that we will use only one loop that is so the time complexity if i will talk about time complexity it will be of o of n only so using one loop only and and that to only one time it's not that we should use one loop one time to calculate number of 0 1 and 2 and in another iteration we should just put the value of 0 1 and 2 in the basis of count so it should not be like that we will be using only one loop only so let me write down a function which will print the array in the last so public static void void y because we are not going to return anything only we are going to print the data here only so print sorted array so it will be taking input as array of integer and it will be just printing the array so this is out to print array so array is dot to string dot to string and it will print, print this array only in the last so i'll be calling this from the main function void main and string args it is the main function where we will be calling this print shorted array so print shorted array and in this we can directly provide the array here like 0 comma 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma 0 this is the array which we are going to provide here or we can directly call this array here and can pass it in this so this is how we will be calling this array and it will be printing the data so the main function is that we should be using only one loop either you can use for or you can use while and here what I am going to do is we I am going to take two pointers one in the starting and one in the end and another point is there which will be iterating from starting till end so let's name the pointer which is at start is start as first pointer and end as the end of the array which will be pointing to the end of the array so array dot length minus one since we are going with the index so it is minus one and another point are also we require which will be iterating from start till end so start is pointing to zero end is pointing to the end that is length minus one and we need one more array which will start from zero and go till the condition where it will be less than end so i'll take it as mid let's take mid as zero now let's write the function so in this while loop only we are going to provide the condition so while i will write mid because mid will be iterating until what condition it will be iterating less than or equal to end and the condition which i'm going to provide is like if first condition is that if it comes out to be mid comes out to be 0 or you can say array at mid comes out to be 0 then I will simply do a swap swap between what so array at what index in the start and mid so if at any point it comes out to be 0 suppose at this point at this point whatever it comes out to be 0 then I will simply swap with the pointer of starting whatever the pointer it will be suppose it is pointing to 2 and if it's come out to be 0 then I will simply swap 0 with 2 and meanwhile what I will do I will increment the start as 
that position of the start is already filled with zero and mid will also be incremented else if then the next condition mid comes out to be one then i will do nothing simply increment the mid else this is the last condition if it comes out to be two then i'll swap end with mid and i will simply increment the decrement the end that's it and mid will be there only so this is what i will be doing in this while loop and i need a swap function create a swap function in this swap function i'll be just swapping the array data so i'll take int temp equal to array at start and i will put array at start equals array at end mid and array at mid will become temp this is nothing but just a normal swapping so this is what the array should be looking like and here if the case is zero then i'm simply swapping the starting index with the mid if the case is it will be array if the case is one then i'm doing nothing just incrementing that mid index because it is already at first index having value one so i'll just move in the next and if it comes out to be other value that is two then just swap that with the first one to the end one so now this code is quite fine i am doing the swapping here and i am providing this data so let's run and see the value run as java application so see the value is already sorted you can take any other data also like 0 1 0 1 and save it again run it see this is the array already being sorted so this is how we can short the array using just a single loop you need to take on the three references that is the start end start will go for the value with zero end will go in the end with value two and mid will be the pointer which will be moving from starting till the end not the end but this end because this end is also moving in forward direction and start is moving from left to right and in between mid is moving so in this way the whole iteration will work and using o of n time complexity and using one loop only we can short this array of 0 1 and 2 thank you for watching the video